Hello guys, I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. And if you saw my last vlog, you will know that I headed over to Primark in Manchester and I said I got three big bags full of stuff of which I thought I would include within its own video. So that is what today's video is. I am bringing you a Primark haul and yeah, super impressed. Managed to get quite a few neutral kind of capsule pieces for my summer wardrobe. Although I have to say, <laughs> where is summer here in the UK? I feel like it's very just mild and a bit damp. I mean, I've been away twice already this year. We went to Seville in was it when did i go to seville was it march and then just been to palma and going to cos next month so i do have some summer bits that i've managed to also take with me away but i feel like we need some more sun in here in the uk i'm sure it is to come although having said that you know what i'm like i'm such a complainer of the heat in being in the uk anything above sort of 24 in the UK without a swimming pool. I just can't hack. So anyway, I have a selection of bits to share with you, so make sure if you haven't already, get comfy, relax, put your feet up, light the candles, grab the snacks. I said that really weird, grab the snacks, some drinks, and let's jump into it. Excuse me. <coughs> <coughs> That's the other thing, hay fever. It's a real thing for me. It never used to be. I'm gonna start with a bit of a wow factor. They have quite a few bridal bits, kind of white sections, which would be great for Hindus, engagement parties, weddings. And this was within that section of wow. Look at the glitz on this. If you've seen my little YouTube short that I did or my TikTok, my reel, where I went to Palma, it was for a Hindu, and the first night was sparkle night. This would have been perfect. I opted for a black satin dress with sparkly heels and bag. However, I kind of wish I'd found this in advance because this would have been perfect. Other kind of sparkle dresses that I was trying on for that evening, the sequence was really scratchy and this isn't. It's got like a slight border and also a lining which makes it really, really soft. And yeah, I just think this is beautiful. It looks like it's just glistening perfectly. Imagine this in like an evening, a dim lit, clubs, at golden hour, sunset, so, so pretty. So I'm gonna take this on holiday with me as an evening option. And this was 25 pounds. So again, with Primark prices, I've mentioned this before, I do tend to go for the more expensive finds. I know a lot of you within my video say, oh, Primark's getting more expensive. They do still have the cheaper items. I just personally prefer to pay for the quality things that are gonna last, I'm gonna get more wear out of them. So yes, their prices are going up, inflation, wear isn't going up. But I do rate the quality, especially of the Primark edit range. So anyway, this is from the kind of like bridal section. I got it in a 12. I picked up another couple of evening dress options for holiday. I am more of the sort that would like to wear a nice evening dress, but then with flats on holiday. So I got this again, this is more from like the bridal section. And so you could totally wear this as like a Hindu if you're going on your Hindu a white party, an engagement party, a wedding itself. If you wanted to, this would be lovely for like a beach wedding dress. I'm just thinking a white maxi dress. It has got quite a big slit on it, this one. So just again, evening with my Chloe flat sandals, I think will be lovely. So this seems to be the kind of wedding section labeling. If you can see that it's got like a gold trim and the actual Primark bit is gold as well. So this one also was 25 pounds. This one I got in a size 10. And this one is a bit more of a slinky, satiny, sexy evening dress. This one's from the Paula range at 22 pounds. So yeah, these prices, they are, they're steeping up, but steeping up, getting steeper. The sort of things that in Zara, you'd expect to pay double. So still, I think anyway, still good value for money. So this one I did get in a 12. I think a 10 would have been fine, they just didn't have any. Lacy uh, pattern on the top, a little section on the side, and also around the kind of like shin calf area as well, but otherwise it's just a maxi dress with a 
slit, very satiny, silky, very comfortable. That's what I love about these kind of dresses for an evening on holiday. I don't know about you, but I tend to get really bloated on holiday. I think it's probably the amount of sparkling water, Diet Cokes I drink, bread, chips, and everything like that. I just can get so bloated. And there's nothing more uncomfortable than wearing something tight around your waist, going for dinner when you're feeling like that. So these kind of slippy, satiny, silky dresses, I think look lovely, but they're comfy. We're gonna head over to the Primark edit section now, and they've got some gorgeous, 100% linen pieces, so I did pick up a selection. This first one is my favorite, and it reminds me of one that m and has done. I would say this runs big, so just bear that in mind. I got a 10. Yeah, it's, it's really, really pretty. It's kind of slightly structured and with a slight darting on the front and on the back. It's a zip up back, but it's like a hidden zip, so you can't see it. So again, those little touches that I think make it more, um, elevated than your standard Primark, hence the higher price point. So yeah, 100% linen this one is at £32. And then I also picked up this. Now I already have one. I don't know if mine is exactly like this. It's in the wash at the minute, so I can't tell, but it's very, very similar. And what I love about this linen fabric um, in particular, it's really good for like all skin tones. It's not that kind of warm, peachy based beige which can wash you out this is like a really nice cool toned beautiful let me show you a bit closer up beautiful finish quite um thick good quality as well so this one is just an, uh, a shirt with little mini tortoiseshell buttons i do think the buttons on my other one is slightly bigger so maybe it is different i sized up in this one to a 14 just purely for an oversized fit so that i can wear this if I wanted to with um, like a swimsuit underneath. That's how I quite like to wear these. The other one that I've worn, that I have from Primark, I took with me to the Hemdo and it was just such an easy option. I had it on over my swimsuit for the beach club. I had it on in an evening with some shorts. It's just a really good go-to, even with a little white summer's dress underneath. This just to have a layer. I think it's quite smart, but yet yeah, so comfy. So I did decide to pick up another one, even though I've already got one. And then the other two things that I picked up from this range or this set is firstly this pair of high-waisted, kind of like paper bag, relaxed fit trousers with a slight turn up at the bottom. I got a size 10. These would be really nice as well with the shirt, maybe just like a little white vest underneath. I think this would pair really nicely with it. So again, in that same fabric, this is a longer line waistcoat, but it does have the slight slit on the side so that if like me you're a bit bigger around the hips and the bum area it's not gonna it's not gonna pull i really appreciate that little slit there so it sits really nice so size eight i got this one in because i thought it looked a bit uh i th thought it looked a bit oversized so i did size it out because i personally would wear this kind of a thing just as a top with nothing other than maybe like a bra underneath and that's it 22 pounds for that one 100 linen how much were the trousers trousers 24 pounds. I like the fact that you can mix and match all of these. You can style them together, style them as separates. This dress is, it reminds me of one that I tried on recently from Reese in terms of the actual style because it's essentially a little, um, or little, like a high neck, if I just do it up, high neck dress that just goes, floats down into just a simple loose fabric. Just very, very loose. I love the fact that it's got pockets as well. Added touch again, makes the dress more expensive, but I think worth the worth the extra money. So this one is again from the Primark edit range. I really rinse this Primark edit range, don't I? And they honestly had so many more bits I could have bought, but 22 pounds for this one. And I got it in a size of 12. A couple of shorter dresses that I picked up. Firstly, this square neck kind of ruffle frimmed, frimmed? fringed dress in this cream. I really like this, it's like a tiered dress. It's in a small, I would again say these run big, so size down. Um, but the only the only sort of negative, and again, this is where it comes into play in terms of you paying more for your money with the added touches like pockets and stuff. This one doesn't have pockets, but also only this front panel here is the section that's double lined. None of this is double lined, even the back isn't double lined. So it's it is fine. I wish it would all be 
double lined and then is this the last dress i think this is the last dress that i picked up again another tiered one these come out quite long i would say Ooh, that's not good we'll just tuck that in i did get a 12 in this one but only because they didn't have any other 10s available and a 12 is fine it's 16 pounds and it's got um again it's that kind of like cool toned beige which i think is better suited to my skin but it's got a subtle stripe detail i don't know how well you're going to see this but it's in a sage green wide kind of capped sleeves with a little turn up otherwise just a good classic speaking of good classics i did pick up just these two boxy tees in a small nothing really else to show you about them other than black and white seven pound five pound so i don't really get that pricing strategy but it's always good to have a brand new basic tees i also picked up this as a basic and a good comparison to my uniqlo ones that i've been buying they're similar price i think the uniqlo one i got in the sale i don't know why they were discounted but i think they're about 11 pounds and i love them these are eight so they basically are like a racer style top with the built-in bra now i tried these on last year and they weren't the best fit i prefer the uniqlo ones but as a good cheaper alternative and i do think they're slightly tweaked how the um fit is on these um yeah I, I do prefer the uniqlo ones i'm not gonna lie i thought that would look really nice with these shorts as well you've got the kind of casual racer top with the smarter short and i decided to get these i wouldn't ordinarily have got something like this but again since having had my colors done not too long ago this sort of navy option as opposed to the black i think I don't know i think i'm drawn to blues a bit more having had that done so as much as if i'm going to go colorful i would wear more greens i do also think navy is a good option for me i probably would take off the belt and wear my own belt with it but it's handy to have a nice skinny little belt in fact that sparkly dress that i was saying i need a belt for I've got a little skinny belt that will go with it. These shorts were 12, in a 12, sorry, at 14 pounds. Also picked up from the Primark edit range, this linen, 100% linen again, shorts. Again, with the stretchy waistband on the back, so nice and comfortable. These ones look a little smarter with that turn up as well. They did have a matching shirt. They didn't have any shirts in my size. So I decided to just try out these shorts. They look really nice and high-waisted. I got them in a 10, yeah, 18 pounds. This is a repeat purchase because I ruined it in the wash. I popped this bodysuit, which is like a, just a simple ribbed bodysuit. Reminds me of the Zara ones that they do. They did that limitless contour collection, didn't they? It's like that fabric. They've got these in loads of different colors. The nude actually I was really tempted for, but I decided to just repeat purchase this because I ruined mine in the wash, popped in with some colors. And you know when that bright whiteness just go straight away try to rewash it with some bleach and it just it lost it some bikinis firstly this little triangle set I have a couple of swimsuits but i wanted more bikinis for holiday just for tanning just for tom and i to go away i'm probably going to wear bikinis more than swimsuits for tanning purposes and i thought this set was really really pretty and very simple black's just a classic for me with bikinis i just think you can't go wrong if it's time of the month you're sorted and if not black looks nice as well so the top is eight pounds and the bottoms were six i decided to get this as a set purely because this didn't have the matching bottoms in stock yet so hopefully they'll be coming in soon in a small at seven pounds Again, for tanning purposes, just a classic bandeau bra is like one of the most ideal for tanning. You don't get strap marks. This one's a really pretty toweling fabric. Because they didn't have the bottoms, but I really liked this design, I decided to pick up just a box standard pair of high-waisted brief style bottoms. So I love a high cut swimsuit or bikini bottom. And I've got some skimpy bottoms now, so I wanted some more full brief ones. So I went for these in a small at just £2.50. You really can't go wrong. I also picked up some more socks because um, I needed some more for running and whites are a good classic for just wearing with trainers. But I got these because they have the blister resist, they call them. So some kind of technology that helps resist any blisters. Not that I get them with my trainers, but it just, the, the thickness of them makes them feel a bit more comfortable for running in. So I got this set, which comes with cream, beige and black at £4.50 and then for £2.50 again just your classic 
seven pairs of white trainer socks. And then they had some incredible hair accessories. I, most of the time, even though when I'm filming, I usually have my hair down. For the most part, I'm a hair up kind of person. And I, day to day, just like around the house or whatever, I think bobbles like this, like, they're not good for daily use. So I tend to use hair clips and they had so many. Firstly, this huge, reminds me of like a um, nude candy cane. This oval one, which I think will be really pretty. It's kind of like a pearlescent nude. And then this just for a good classic, kind of close to my hair color, simple clip for £5.50 for those set. That, that set um they also had some really pretty like glitzy butterfly ones that i thought again for like a sparkle night or some kind of sparkle themed thing you've got on or like again holiday in the evening would be really pretty but then they also had these plain ones which i thought really wearable so i decided to pick these up two tortoiseshell ones and two white ones at £4.50 and then I've never seen this kind of a style before so I thought I would try it out at £3 you get two clips in here they're like a flat clip so I can imagine I don't know I can imagine popping like your hair on top of your head like say if I was to have like a messy bun and then slide that into the slide it in so it's kind of hidden almost we'll give them a try anyway see how I get on but three pounds and then just some bubbles on checkout I saw these ones for one pound just some box standard uh, blonde bubbles this one that Rita Aurora did they had loads of large scrunchies so I've been seeing girls hairstyles with like a bun and then this just really dresses up the look four pound for that one nice satin champagne color and that's everything let me know of all of these items which was your favorite just pop it in the comments below let me know and um, yeah happy shopping if you want to pay a visit after watching this video hope you guys get lucky and don't forget head to the big stores if you can so so much better thank you so much for watching i hope you all have a lovely rest of your day and i hope to see you all very very soon in my next video bye guys